But what we have right now is uh, a call of a shooting. A Fox 10 News alert. These are live pictures here from where there's been a shooting investigation. Bro, these cops are telling everybody to leave. Dude. Uh, everybody's here trying to pick up their kids. New details continue to emerge about the shooting. Ah, you remember from your video. Hey, Pasa, AG3 fam, bienvenidos. Welcome to another episode of AG3 family. How y'all doing? How y'all been? Como estáis? Guys, we're here for oh, a beautiful day and... Squirrel! Oh, they crunk, ain't they? It's, it's a good. It's, it's a good. Good. It's always something going on, but we're in the beautiful Sevilla once again. As you've seen by the title, we got a few things to talk about. So we're gonna tell you guys really why we left America. And, but we definitely wanna give you guys a picture of the reasoning, why we did it. Stick around, cause you don't wanna miss it. You guys wanna hear this. Get into it, let's talk about it. Let's talk, good to see y'all again. Like, really living in Spain, like really almost four years in. Oh, these kids have grown so much since we've been here. Okay, good people. So the well, the first reason why we really left America was really for a career transition. Blue bugs. An opportunity to work here in Spain presented itself to us, and we hopped on it. We said yes. You know, I transitioned out of the military. God bless. We found a job here and we came here. Right. Yep. Actually, we had an opportunity to go other places. Well, I did but it would have been without the family and I couldn't do that. I really wanted to make good money for my family, but I didn't want to do it without. Right. So, God made a way, opened the door, Spain opened up, and that's why we came here. Um, we were able to bring the entire family. The entire family. Todos. The entire family. So that is the very, First reason why we came here. <laughs> That's what they do in a cartoon. Uh -huh. From my head. It's greasy, bro. One, two. Oh. Ah. No, bro, it was two. It was two. You did the same amount as the Okay, so the second reason why we decided to move here is for safety. As parents, it's our number one job in our lives right now to keep our children safe. And while we love our country, we love the United States, and there are many places that are safe in the United States to live, the overall safety there was not to our comfort level. So, and that was one of our greatest decisions because when we came here, we, we saw how safe it was. The fact that, you know, Amari was eight when we first moved here and he could go to the park by himself without any issues. That is very, very important. If your child can go to the park by themselves without you having any worries, it, it was a blessing for us. So um, that was the main thing, just overall safety. Safety in the schools, the crime rate is a little bit lower than it would be in, in, a, in a country where uh, firearms are legal. So we love the safety here, it's, uh, it's safe. So Amari, how do you feel about the safety part of living here in Spain? How, how do you feel? Pretty safe, you know. Oh, uh, voices change. Y'all hear it? Voices change. <laughs> yeah, um, the safety here in Spain is um, pretty good, you know. We're only comfortable when we have a certain level of security. Like we watch our kids. We check in with our kids. We make sure they are not getting into crazy stuff. You know what I mean? 
check in with your kids, you know, you have to. Vamos, follow the guy with the umbrella. Follow the guy with the umbrella. <laughs> go, go, go. So the, the third? Fourth? Third. The third reason why we moved to Spain was for us, we were already conditioned to live abroad, right? Right. We have already lived in other countries and us uh, living in other countries really conditioned us to be here in Spain. Cultural differences is something to learn, but we feel like it is a process and we have patience. Right. to learn the process and if you come and you move abroad especially Europe you need patience <laughs> it's true you need patience because in the States we do a lot of things in a fast-paced lifestyle and we don't really enjoy life as much as the people do here I can honestly say that and I'm sure there are other expats who would agree that is how it is when you're in Europe and we didn't know what to expect right Right. Spain, we didn't really know what to expect. We you had read, no idea. You read stuff online. We did a little know. bit of research prior, but um, you don't know. nothing prepares you for when you actually delve yourself, you actually put yourself into the, the equation. So we didn't know what to expect, like you said, but it ended up being just great for our family, yeah. a great fit for us, you know. Um, right. And some would ask, why didn't you go back? Why haven't we gone back? We've been here almost four years now. Right. Some people might ask, why haven't you gone back to America? Well, the pros outweigh the cons. For sure. That is probably the easiest way I can put it. Right? Right. Yeah. The good outweighs the bad. It does. It pros certainly does. The cons. Um, there are a lot of pros. There are a lot of cons living abroad. Don't get it twisted. Right. There are. Um, but the pros definitely for us outweigh the bad. That is the third reason why we left America. Would we go back to visit? Absolutely. Actually, we're going back soon. Episodes coming up soon of us in our home country as well. We're back in the United States. We're going back to Florida. Kids, are you ready to go back to Florida? I'm ready. You ready, Abby? Yeah. Amari's ecstatic, but that's Amari's ecstatic. <laughs> that's his excitement. He's ready though. Aaron, you ready to go back to America to visit? Visit uh, Nana and Papa? Yeah. And your cousins? You ready to go visit? Yeah. You are? Right, let's go. <laughs> You're ready. Oh. I don't know. Let me see. This way or this way? Either one. Pull up is a pull up. Ugh. You did, I did one? I did one, bro. I did three. I never could do a pull up. Pull ups have always been hard. In basic training, you had to do like four, didn't you? No. You have to do no basic pull ups. The women? The females that they call them? Hurt. That hurt. Let me see. Okay, so the third. Fourth. The fourth. Fourth and final. Can't count. The fourth and final reason why we moved to Spain, our faith in God. We believe that with God, he carries us and protects us wherever we go. For us, the faith was big. Huge. It is big, it's Number big. One. Because we do know that wherever we go, we're protected. Even in the States, we were protected, yes. But we know wherever we, choose to live and wherever he takes us we're going to be safe there absolutely right now we're just not going to go dig roots into you know a war zone right in a bad country you know we're not going to do that but of course we're going to use our common sense but don't get it wrong we had a beautiful life in the united states of america we we loved it we loved our home there but like he said the opportunity presented itself and we came here and we fell in love. We didn't, like you said, we didn't know what to expect, but our faith of stepping out on faith and just being like, okay, let's go with the flow. Let's see what happens. We came here, we gave it a chance. The cultural integration for our family was beautiful and we fell in love. And it makes me think about in the States, 
how I, um, we had so many um, friends and family members that were immigrants who came to the United States. And now, to this day, they are very patriotic to that to the country of the United States. I kind of feel like we we're in that role of kind of being a little bit patriotic towards Spain because we're so grateful for our lives here. And um, you know, that's just encouragement for anybody who wants to are thinking about living overseas or becoming an expat. It doesn't have to be Spain; it can be another country. But just know that, just have that faith to. You can do it. It may seem like it's not a reality, but just just do it and then see what happens. Absolutely. Oh, that was good. It was good. The patriotism. Yeah. I mean, we still have patriotism to the U.S. I mean, of course, absolutely. I mean, we wouldn't be here without it, honestly. Right. So we don't get it twisted. We know where we came from, but we're thankful for opportunities to live abroad. Cool. We are here. We're in Spain, the beautiful country of Spain. It has been good to us. We've had good times, bad times, but we did it together. We're doing it together. That's right. And we're going to continue to do it right. together. That's it. Nice talking with you guys. I hope we gave you a good picture of why we're here, why we left America. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like watching our video. Now we're gonna. Let's go. On to the last time. I'll tell you where we're gonna be blessed and have some Wait, <laughs> wait. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad you know it, but we gotta do it together. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna get up from here. To, you know, the kids are antsy. They can't sit down. They can't. They wanna move around. Amari can sit down. Amari's good, but the kids wanna get up and move around. Then we're gonna go eat something. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> un, un, un. Till next time. Hasta luego. Be blessed and hug someone. Daddy, hug someone.